Mr. President, ministers, ambassadors, Madam Director of uh, ITU Development, uh, Telecommunication Development Bureau, and uh, as a directors, director of uh, Radio Communication Bureau, and uh, director of uh, Standardization Bureau of Telecommunications. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, really pleased to see you all here for this WTDC. We just enjoyed very much this uh, cultural show. I think today we are here in Gigali, one of Africa's great cities in Rwanda, a model of digital transformation for the Africa continent and for the world. Thank you to the people of Rwanda for the warm welcome and the extraordinary, extraordinary hospitality. We are honored by the presence of His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda. Thank you, Mr. President, for hosting for hosting and addressing the conference. Your words will be a source of inspiration for us, like those delivered by Secretary General of the United Nations, just that we heard, and the last time at WTDC five years ago, the message from Holiness Pope Francis, at our last WTDC, stressing the importance of leaving no one behind. Much progress has been made, with almost five billion people being online today. We have seen the strongest growth in ICT, uptake in the developing world, and that is very encouraging. Yet, one third of humanity is still offline. That is close to three billion people, mostly people in developing countries and in poor areas, rural areas, areas where we need to attract investment, something that is being one of my priorities. I echo the UN Secretary General's call for universal connectivity with affordable service by 2030. And I hope this conference will make headway on removing all remaining barriers to connectivity. What makes me confident is all the young people we saw during the youth summit earlier the previous days. Those also the Nelson Mandela called our greatest asset of our planet. When he came to Geneva for one of our major events almost 30 years ago. We have obligation to them and to each other to connect the unconnected drive the development of new technologies central to achieving the UN Sustainable Development Goals and continue to show the world what ITU can do as a technical and equally important development agency. I must uh, add a few words here that uh, we had established this uh, development sector of ITU almost 30 years ago, but still, the public perception of ITU is still a technical agency, not yet as a developing, developing agency. So we still have to work more to make sure that uh, this status be widely recognized and supported. 
I look forward to the output from the conference, which will be fit into the ITU strategic plan to be endorsed by our plenary petition conference in Bucharest, Romania, later this year. I also like to draw you attention to an information document I have just provided for your consideration based on the many outputs of the WCC Forum 2022 that concluded last Friday in Geneva, relevant to the discussion in this conference. I call on the spirit of collaboration of the IT family and wish you all success for WTDC 2022. I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize two individuals joining us. I think that we have our chairman of PP 2022 nominated, and we have our strong supporter from private sector, Mr. Carl Slim, who joined us yesterday for the Broadband Commission, together with President Kagami. Both of them served co-chairs of this important institute and uh, very important uh, United Nations Broadband Commission for Sustainable Development since 2010. Now I would like to invite President Kagami to come to the stage to deliver his remarks and uh, keynote addresses. I'm honored to present His Excellency Mr. President Kagami with a certificate that recognizes Rwanda's digital transformation and commitment to bringing broadband connectivity across Africa and the world. And surely, his strong leadership as President of Africa State and as champion for ICT in the world. So, Mr. President, can we invite you here? <laughs> 